when I'm acting as Rachel, the, the thoughts are so fluid now. My name is Ashley Malloy, and we are currently at Joe's Movement Emporium in Mount Rainier, Maryland. I'm like, where am I today? People here want to understand what's going on in Gaza now and c compared to how it was in 2003 because the words are still so hauntingly relevant that I think people are like, wow, this could have been written yesterday. And many audience members who are you know, very well informed, educated individuals think it's, it's worse. March 1st, 10.30 a.m. Three internationals joined four men at the Aliskan water well. Workers at the well report being fired upon on Thursday. Despite guarantees of safety, as well as the presence of banners and megaphones, activists and workers were fired upon several times over the course of an hour on Sunday, close enough to spray debris in their faces. For more information about this report and the destruction of civilian water supplies, please contact Rachel. I come from a conservative family. Um, this is not talked about at least not without any tension. Um, so, you know, just doing this play was sort of a radical act within my family. So I always learn so much from my audiences because there is just this organic um, discussion that emerges out of the material from the play in the talk back. So, um, yeah, I would say the most gratifying response is, um, and this happened the other day, is when people come up to you and there was a man um, who said, you know, when I came tonight, I was really on Israel's side. I really identified with Israel and I don't think that anymore. Hi, Papa. Sometimes I feel like I spend all my time just propagandizing mom and assuming that she's going to pass stuff on to you so you get neglected. Look, don't worry about me too much right now, okay? Right now, I'm just concerned that I'm not being effective enough. I still don't feel particularly at risk. I am trying to decide what I'm going to do when I leave here, but... One of the members of our group, she's leaving tomorrow, and I'm watching her say goodbye and just realizing how difficult this is going to be because the people here can't leave, and that really complicates things. And they're also really matter-of-fact about whether or not they're even going to be alive when we come back. I don't want to live with that guilt. I ask myself, why is this happening? I think it's happening because so many people who think that they're not playing an active role in the suffering of people don't understand that their passive role is participating in that continuous suffering. It's a matter of, oh, we're not doing anything that affects this, but that's exactly the problem, is you're not doing anything. Just because you're not doing anything to contribute to it, if you're not doing anything to solve it, you're just as bad as the person who's perpetrating this evil on people. You know, from the beginning of the play to the end, I think that's where she arrives, where it's really a story about an American girl who is totally disillusioned with her own government, with the place she's from. It becomes this awakening for her of, wow, we are complicit in this and it is up to us and we can influence and we can change people's minds. It is possible. We have a choice in this. And if there's enough of us, if there's a critical mass of us that emerges, we can do something about it. I'm 
having a really hard time right now. I just feel sick to my stomach from being doted on so sweetly by these people who are facing doom. And I know in America this is all just hyperbole, and often to me the kindness of these people, coupled with the willful destruction of their lives, is unreal to me. I can't believe that something like this can happen in the world without a bigger outcry. It hurt me again like it hurt me in the past how awful we allow this world to be. When I started working on the play, I was 20. And as of two days ago, I'm the exact age Rachel was when she died. It reminds you to just be grateful. You know, be grateful for the fact that you have these days that this young woman never saw. And what are you gonna do with the time that she was robbed of?